you're wondering why the bales are tipping, that attachment on there sets them up the tall, skinny way so they can be picked up with a bale wagon. Bale wagon stacks end up like this. You literally don't have to handle the bales. It stacks them up. Um, you can change how it loads. It does a tie tier so the stacks stabilize. You'll look, notice that the bales towards the top there, they change the other direction. Because if you just had them all stacked up like rectangles, they'd just tip over. There'd be nothing to hold them together to the middle. He's coming back with a full load right now. We'll watch one of these get dumped and then I'll try to get out there and catch some from the beginning. This thing's such a cool piece of equipment, it deserves its own video. I'll go into full detail when we get the full crew out here. Today it's just a couple of us, so instead of playing on my phone, I've actually had to operate. I'd say you're pretty close, you got about a foot. Probably got about a foot and a half. You can go back a little bit. You're down now. bought new 47 years ago, 47th season, saved a lot of vertebrae.
pickup has this gathering chain on it and it flips the bale up and then it hits that first platform. And when the bales hit the far side of that, it automatically will flip up those two. And then when it gets dissected, I guess you call it an intermediate platform, it's full. That's a manual pull. You have to actually pull that one and watch what you're doing to get the stack up. So this is a heck of a lot faster than having a kicker or hand stack and wagon. You've got a good operator and a, I guess prefer the narrow front tractors because you can swerve in and out of the bales without hitting one like I'm trying not to do to like film this. But yeah, this thing's been around a lot longer than me and for hauling, we don't, you don't have to handle it. Flip them up, second one hits. And then that intermediate platform is where you do the tie tier when you start to get through the stack a ways. You pull it and then it'll automatically flip one up on it when one bale comes so that you stack them opposite. So now that first platform's full, he's pulling a lever over there to pull that one up. And then it hits that skid that's on springs and that keeps them from falling forward or back. So we'll see if we can catch the bales hit. And we'll be able to keep up with that. That outside lever and it'll flip that first table. This is a PTO driven hydraulic pump. So pretty much you can put any tractor on it. It doesn't have to have strong hydraulics because it uses all onboard. Which is kind of nice. Because we know some older rigs don't have great hydraulics. Or enough to run all that stuff anyway. <laughs> 